In the simplest of terms, you can think of diffusion as the spreading out of particles. The proper definition is the movement of particles from a high to low concentration. So for example here, when we have the particles bundled together in a high concentration, which means there's lots of particles per volume, diffusion will mean that these particles will spread out and move from a high to low concentration. For example, if you were to spray some perfume at one end of a room, you'd have a high concentration of particles just after you sprayed, but gradually those particles will spread by diffusion across the room. In order for diffusion to happen, there needs to be a difference in concentration, which we call a concentration gradient. So if we compare the particles on the left to those on the right, you can see that they're in the same volume, there are five purple particles on each side. So for the purple particles, there is no difference in concentration. But for the orange particles, there is a difference in concentration. There are six on the left and only two on the right. So here we have a concentration gradient. So to balance things out, some orange particles will move by diffusion from a high to a low concentration. In a second example, this time there are differences in concentration for both the orange and the purple particles. So you'll see that some orange particles move by diffusion from high to low concentration, and also some purple particles move from a high to low concentration to balance everything out. There are lots of examples of diffusion in biology as well as chemistry. Here we have a root hair cell there is a low concentration of water in the cell and outside of the cell there is a high concentration of water in the soil. Water molecules will move by diffusion from a high concentration to a low concentration inside. For a chemistry example, if you put some potassium permanganate crystals in the bottom of a beaker of water, they will diffuse and spread throughout the water. There are several factors which affect the rate of diffusion, and this is how quickly diffusion happens. One factor is temperature. As temperature increases, the rate of diffusion increases, because the particles have more energy and will be moving faster. The particle size also affects the rate of diffusion. The smaller the particle, the higher the rate of diffusion. And finally, the state of matter is important. Diffusion does not happen in solids. If you remember, in solids, the particles only vibrate around a fixed position. They do not move. Diffusion does happen in gases and liquids. And diffusion is faster in gases than liquids. And this is because the particles in gases have more energy and they move faster. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.